Nowadays, it's totally normal to hop into an airplane and travel all around the world. In just a few short hours, you can leave the ground behind and fly hundreds or thousands of miles away. But none of that technology would be possible without those trailblazers that came first. In 1780, two brothers, Joseph Michel and Jacques Etienne Montgolfier, were watching burning pieces of paper floating up from a fire and started to wonder what made them rise up into the air. And nowadays we know that hot air is lighter than cold air, but they thought that it was a property of the smoke, which they called levity. And that was pretty exciting, because if a little bit of smoke could make pieces of paper float up into the air, you could probably lift something much larger as well. So after a lot of planning and experimentation and money from King Louis XVI of France, the two brothers created one of these, a hot air balloon. And the stage was set to send up the very first passengers. But it still remained to be seen who would be those first passengers. Did the brothers go up themselves? No way! Much too dangerous. They considered using prisoners instead, but that wouldn't work either. They didn't care whether it was dangerous to the prisoners, but if the balloon landed safely, then the prisoners could escape. So the brothers agreed on three special passengers, a sheep, a duck, and a rooster. Now, why these three animals? Well, let's consider what we know about them and see if we can figure out why. First, our friend, the duck. We'll use the board behind me to put him as high as he can go. So, can he walk on the ground at number one? Yep. How about gliding just above the ground at number two? Yes. And flying all the way amongst the clouds at number three? Definitely. Now, in creating a scientific experiment, the duck is what we call a control a subject or a group that remains in normal, unchanged circumstances. The duck served the brothers as a control because he's comfortable no matter where we put him. But since he can go as high as number three, that's where he fits on the board. Next comes the rooster. Now, can he walk on the ground at number one? Yes. Now, he can't fly as high as the duck at number three, but he is still a bird that can hop and glide above the ground. So he will fit at spot number two. And finally, we have the sheep. Now, it's not much of a guess to see where he fits on the board because there's only one spot left. But we know that he can't fly in the air with the duck at number three, or glide above the ground with the rooster at number two. No, like us, the sheep walks on the ground, which is why the brothers use the sheep as a stand-in for humans. He's also the only one of the animals that was given a name, Mont Ciel, which in French means climbs to the sky. The brothers decided that if the sheep could survive, then it was safe for humans as well. So he takes his spot, at place number one. These three animals flew in the balloon for eight minutes, reached a height of 1,500 feet, and landed two miles away, completely safely. Well, except for the rooster, which had been slightly trampled by the sheep. These first three animals set the example for future adventures in flight, where animals like chimpanzees and Laika the dog blazed the trail for human exploration of space. The astronauts at the International Space Station continue to learn how to help humans survive in the cosmic environment through experiments with animals. So the next time you're looking through the window of an airplane, I hope you remember Montgolfier, Montassiel, and the first passengers in a hot air balloon.